Hi, so I want to show you how to do this trick with the collision. Uh, it's a bit ugly, but at least you can understand how it works. So first of all, let's create the stride project. And we need to do this because we need to create collider shapes. So I'm gonna do something like stride collider uh, stride collider one and that's about it. So while it's loading let's start gamma. So it's gonna be a little bit hacking and clicking, but as I said, who cares? Uh, let's close this. Right, so mm, we got this project starting, and let's see. Now we need to add some assets to it. So gonna use some crappy thing I got from the web. So stride collider resources poof okay add asset model 3D model Right collider one resources coffee cup tests we don't need anything of this right okay um, so we don't need we need a scene also scene and let's add scene in here. We don't need that. We don't need that. Let's add our model to the scene. Alright, so mm, let's first add the collision shape to it. So, first we need to do add asset physics convex hull. And then we need to choose the asset we, want, we need to build convex on. So now here we can add um, in the scene entity we can add component physics static collider. And here on the static collider we need to add collider shape and there is one called asset and here we can add this shape on it so now to view the shape we need to switch to f display physics and as you can see the shape isn't that great uh, there is this thing called decomposition you can play around with but it takes some time so while it's building up a collision shape for us, let's actually get the gamma working. Okay. Doesn't <laughs> it allow multiple so what? Right, so I guess we're gonna have to go <sighs> with new thingy. Right, so this is some notes we're gonna expose uh, on our patch. So 
Come on. Okay, uh, so first of let's save the patch and uh, gonna be somewhere like next to our solution. Stride collider. Right, so first thing we're gonna do we're gonna actually add net dependency I uh, wonder where is it in stride uh, let's see it's probably v v v gamma or something sharp dx Right, default assets. <sighs> right, let's try program files. We gamma three, I think. Okay, point forty six sleep. Stride, 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 physics. Okay. Okay. Doesn't like this. Yes, you need to be in same VV folder as you do that. Stride physics, and yes, uh, there we go. Alright, so our collision shape is ready, our stride physics is going, and we can see it by pressing ctrl shift j so this is our dependency and let's start to crumble so first thing we need an orbit camera and now we need scene window uh, we also have to save the stride project uh, so now uh, we need root scene. I think uh, let's add it uh, skylight, sky box light, and we need to do this. <coughs> so Lots project and we need to provide the CS approach file so stride collider stride collider stride collider CS approach so uh, content URIs. We're gonna configure it a little bit so we have it like 12 or 20. Perfect. And let's move it to a bit off since we're not really gonna use it. So there we go, our scene. 
Um, do we need a set? A set scene. And here we're gonna provide the UI. And now uh, we need to add uh, show child scenes. So now we need to build array from our scenes. Can't spread. Okay, I also wonder where is the uh, dependency. I think in definitions. How do I do actually forward the dependencies? Forward dependencies. I'm not really want to forward them, anyways. All right, so. Uh, we got our spreads of scene, we connect our scene. So now what we're gonna do uh, is we go into expose a raycast. Uh, basically if we type in raycast we already can see this. So mm, we're gonna use one with boolean first. And to for Raycast to work, we need to get a simulation. So to get a simulation, uh, what we do is uh, we're gonna look for the help patch. Mm. Help patch for the intersect. Um intersect mouse with primitive so no this is not the one we need another one and the one gonna be called physics physics and here we can find set gravity node. So basically what we need to do is we need to get processor from the scene instance and we need to find if it's assigned, blah blah blah, and then we're gonna get the simulation. So uh, let's get uh, the scene instance get processor so get processor and it needs entity manager in instance well right so now what we need to get get simulation uh, get Simulation, simulation. Um, simulation isn't running for current scene because this is probably the wrong get simulation. Mm, no, let's try it physics. Ah, uh, yes, and there were the. We need one from the physics processor. So, physics. Physics processor. Okay. So, let's go to the definitions. And here we're gonna find this physics processor and there you can see it's sim physics processor simulation simulation so physics processor simulation simulation let's expose it and S 
physics processor Right. So, uh, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do a little bit of a helper lib for uh, ourselves because we don't want to have all these things exposed in our main patch. So let's do this quickly. Let's remove this. Let's remove this. Let's. Uh, close this. Let's save. Uh, let's make a new patch. <coughs> Whoops. It's not gonna be a patch. Actually, it's gonna be um, a new document. So we need to press Ctrl M, Ctrl S. And we need to navigate to our folder, and that's gonna be <sighs> something like VL stride extensions, right? Ex extensions, all right. So here we're gonna. On stride collider, we're gonna remove this dependency for the stride physics. Are we already removed it? I wonder. Stride. No. Doesn't look like dependencies. Um, remove dependencies. Remove right dependency forward dependencies. Right, perfect. So we removed it. Now we need to add existing. Now we need to go back to the gamma folder we are using currently and program files. EV gamma. Bam, 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 bam. Stride physics. All right, so now we can save. Now we need to add existing, and we need to go back to our repo and to add this all right so when this is set uh, we need to go to definitions and we need to find this simulation all right so let's add it in here so now we can call it um, get, get processor first get a uh, simulation simulation right so there we go right so we got our simulation and now uh, what we do uh, so now what we do we're gonna do we're gonna build the we're gonna add a raycast so if we go here and we check the stride dependency, uh, stride physics, we have this uh, raycast somewhere. Uh, physics processor maybe, instance options, physics. Um, Simulation instance operations raycast. Uh, so 
steps. We're gonna start with the first one. Um, I know we're gonna start. We, go we had to start with the second one, but anyways, we're gonna start with the first one. So uh, you can see we have this hit result on the output. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually add a hit result for us as a forward dependency. Um, Actually, we can just grab a collider from it, but you can see there is also this point. So uh, let's grab a collider. Let's grab a collider instead, and maybe a point. But guess. All right. So now we can actually type a raycast in here, and we see. We ta it takes simulation and there we go, we have a raycast. Actually, um, I'm probably gonna do this uh, other way around. So we got a raycast and we're gonna do another one, raycast, and we're gonna call it raycast simple. So we first see, so we first add the raycast. Raycast simple uh, because you can see it has this boolean output, so basically we can see whether we're hitting something or not. Uh, so for it to work, we need to build up array from two, and this uh, this not gonna bother us. So mouse uh, ray. Bam, ba, ba, bam. You know, if actually you need to add this to the entities, oops. Mm, don't think so. Add. Uh, so let's see this ray stuff. Uh, position. And. Yeah, you need to add it to the entities, otherwise it's not gonna do a shit. Yep. Right, so ray position and ray direction. Ah, perfect. So now what we need to do is uh, uh, we know that this is our from. So to get direction, we're gonna do plus. We're gonna do multiply. So we need to multiply direction by the amount we want to be the length of it, and we need to add the starting point of the ray. So as soon as we do that, uh, you can already see that we are intersecting our object. So let's um, make this a little bit more, let's call it fun, and let's add another object. Oops, gonna keep it in the background. So mm, we got our object. We got our objects. So as you can see, wherever we uh, move the mouse, uh, both objects are getting hit, but we don't know which one is actually hit. So um, we got we exposed our hit. <coughs> result and let's let's add collider uh, collider and oh look we can output it from our head result so mm, basically Wherever I hit now, you can see my physics component uh, not now anymore. 
So now what we need to do is to uh, get this uh, physics component uh, from uh, get uh, which entity this phys physics component belongs to. Uh, so to do that Mm, I'm gonna show you some code quickly how I did come up with it. Uh, so there is a straight physics sample and in here you can see they have this ray casting script. So we're basically gonna open it. and we're gonna see what's going on in here so basically what they do they on update method uh, if pointer pressed uh, they call this raycast function and what it has in here this is just a mouse mapping uh, this var result so result basically is this uh, is results collider as rigid body component uh, so since we use static body component uh, we need to use uh, since we use the static collider uh, we need to cast basically this result to it so mm, static 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 collider so we're gonna go b this direction static collider component and uh, basically what we're gonna do is cast as static collider component so uh, now we can see if we actually successfully so uh, basically what we did is here on the input we have this physics component and here on the output we have static collider component so what we are going to do now is we're gonna do uh, following entities so uh, that's all of our entities uh, so basically now we need a for each loop and within this for each loop we're gonna look for components components um, so there might be multiple components and we don't actually know on which uh, component we are right now we need to do another for each loop so uh, here in this for each loop um, we can do something like uh, cast so we know if uh, the current iteration has uh, the static collider component so you can see like the third component in the spread is the static collider so uh, what now we're gonna do is we're gonna do uh, equal so uh, we're gonna do equal to this so basically now we know that uh, so now as soon as we hit something uh, we know that which entity do we hit and let's add or spectral and there we remove this and 
do that now we need we know like which entity we hit in exactly uh, so here where it takes uh, for your imagination because I didn't found uh, any like entity much set material so we're gonna do transform and transform entity and we need to add entity and the output transform component so here we're gonna do set scale and we're gonna do set scale on that so here we add just regular switch and on this switch we're gonna have And this is gonna be one, 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 and this is gonna be like one, two, two, one, two, two, one, two, two. All right. So now, uh, if we hit something, it's getting bigger. So. <coughs> that's about it i'm pretty sure there is more easy way of doing this but uh, it's just a proof of concept so maybe somebody can add some improvements on top anyways thanks for watching uh, see you